When I was 13 years old, I was admitted to this hospital, actually. I was admitted to Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh, and it was a surprise um, to both me and my family. And my surgeon is the one who inspired me to go into medicine. He just had such a wonderful way of caring for patients. I felt like I never saw him look at my chart. He knew things about my personal life and really cared about me, and I, I wanted to emulate that. I graduated from the Dietrich School of Arts and Sciences five years ago now. I studied English literature and anthropology. I came into Pitts after high school thinking, okay, I want to be a doctor, I, I'm going to study one of the sciences. But going into my sophomore year, I took a class in Introduction to Poetry Writing, which I really loved, and reading and writing has always been a big passion of mine, and I thought, well, this might be my last chance to study English. The ways in which medicine and storytelling are really intertwined and really vital to a practice didn't really become evident to me until I became a resident last year. Having patients tell me those stories, taking those details, um, really fine-tuning both my diagnostic reasoning based on the stories they were telling me was really crucial. I actually think a lot of my diagnostic reasoning is based on how I would do critical reading for my undergraduate work and I, I think it really has made me a better physician. My studies in both anthropology and English literature taught me to think about patients and really my job very holistically. Being able to come back to the reason why I did this, to think about the patient, you know, in a, what's probably a very scary situation for them being in the hospital, to be able to come back to that and think about the things outside of my medical textbooks that could be affecting their health is something that my studies at the Dietrich School really facilitated for me. I think it's important to follow your passion. Even if you don't quite know how your degree is going to contribute to your career someday, I think you'll find that no matter what job you end up in, you're gonna take those skills that you learned while at Pitt and be able to apply them in whatever career you choose.